Good morning, guys. Um, I've been up since like 2.30 in the morning because I had a three hour drive to get back home this morning. <laughs> so if I'm a little bit rambly and like off the wall, that's why I've had way too much coffee and not enough sleep. <laughs> uh, things. Anyway. Okay, so this video is going to be about how to illustrate a scene from a story. So I'm using a fanfic right now, but anyway, you can use any story. Like you can, like this is good for if you're illustrating a novel, a children's story, anything like that. So one of the first things is you have to, one, read the damn story. <laughs> uh, pick the scene that you want to illustrate and make sure that uh, you get all the right details. So you actually have to read like the full story because sometimes you'll like pick up on like little um, nuances about the character um, or like, like a piece of their costume or like a tick that they have or something like that. So you wanna make sure that you can get all of the details like properly done um, a lot of times like I find what really annoys me is that I'll be like oh well this character had this one specific detail and the artist leaves it out so it's like that's really annoying because it's like no I wanted to see that detail but anyways I guess it's artist subjective and that artist particularly didn't think that that detail was something that needed to be focused on. And don't be afraid to like move your sketchbook because a lot of times you'll be drawing a head angle and it'll be really awkward the way you're drawing it. So if you move it to like move it in a way that the angle is no longer awkward, it's a lot easier to draw. Just saying. getting hands right and stuff is always hard. Anyway.
So I am going to give you guys fair warning. This week and next week I might be a little bit off on my update schedule. One, because I've got a lot of work to finish like before the holiday and two, I will be on holidays next week so I won't be with my computer. Um, and I just... <laughs> people need a break. <laughs> So, I don't know. I'm going to be doing a lot of that kind of thing. Like, family stuff. And I won't have time to make videos. As everyone knows. Holidays, family, that kind of crap. So. Ugh. Anyways. And I've got so much work stuff to get done this week. I probably... I'll try and update. And I'll try and do little sketch videos. But, like, I... I can't guarantee anything. Um. So... We shall see what happens. Anyway. So, yeah. So, one thing you can do also, like, getting back onto, like, illustrating stories, <laughs> is you want to do, like, character designs and make sure, like, you reread the scene a few times. Um, so you get all the details in. Take notes um, if you want to do that. Um, like, make sure that you have all the details down so that you can add them in. Um, I can't even draw straight lines right now. <laughs> so you can add them in later. Um, it's just, it's a lot easier for yourself if you're doing that. Um, or have the story open in front of you if it's like from a fanfic or something and just have, make sure that the scene that you have like you um, want to draw is there but also like always note details in the story um, <clears throat> like from the setup so like there'll be or there should be um, like details of costume and expression and emotion and that kind of thing always try and pick up on that stuff it's a lot um, it just adds to what you're doing right like you don't want to you want to do a good job when you're showing people your artwork Not enough sleep and too much coffee are not a good thing. The acidity in the coffee is murdering me right now. Anyways, so tweak Ed Craig from in the end will be all right. Yeah, it was good fic. It was such good fic. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will chatter at you later. Bye.